Welcome back to the Below the Yellow Line podcast, the podcast where me and my co-host Samuel talk the NASCAR Cup Series for hours a week, three days a week, and hope somebody will listen. I'm your host, Emily, joined by... Samuel Stubbs. That's like, what, three or four flawless intros in a row? I am pretty much a professional. Good job, Emily. Welcome to our second episode of uh, of the day, actually. We had Betsy and Cameron back on the show earlier. To discuss their time in Shaw Town. Well, they live there, but discuss their time at the Chicago Street Race, rather. That's out on the Spider Sand YouTube channel and the Below the Yellow Line podcast. Uh, and like Emily said, welcome back to the Below the Yellow Line podcast post, or Atlanta post race edition. William Byron gets the win, his fourth of the year, just as you predicted, Emily. Good yes, job. I did. I, I picked him. You did. Take pick that him. for the record. I picked him. You did. I picked Joey Liano. That didn't pan out. Um, we have actually a good amount of time available to us tonight, um, and, you know, we did a big recap last night on the Spotter Stand YouTube channel, go check it out, the Spotter Apostrophe, Apostrophe S Stand. Um, I figure we have time to, to tell some stories, do some humor, life update, rhetorical questions, so Emily, uh, what is that for you tonight? Um, oh gosh. Well, what did we talk about last time? Pies and stuff? Yeah, pies and stuff. I'm trying to think what has changed since then, and not much has changed. I mean, I'm currently laying on the floor here yeah, recording this very podcast. Professional. When we don't have video on, it's kind of it's kind of rogue. I'm like, it's 11 p.m. It we often record in the late hours of night, so it's like I'm always just tired. What did what did I do? I don't know. I didn't take a nap today. We played a lot of golf. Yeah. Card golf. Card by golf. The way. I not, suck. I'm not, not very like, good. Go hit a ball outside golf. No, no, we don't do that. There are too many mosquitoes not our here. Family. Um, we play golf, like the card game where you have. Well, we you can play like four or six card golf, but we play nine card golf, and you're just trying to get the lowest score. And the, I mean, I could explain it more, but like the values match up and blah blah blah. So, pretty fun. We played many many games of that day. Probably three or four or five or six. I don't know. I don't remember. I lost count. But um, I won a few of them. Samuel, I think, got last place every time. He is not the professional. I am one of the golf players of all time. One of the golf players. One of the golf players. That is that is what he qualifies as. Qualifies. Now, we'll give him a little benefit of the doubt because, like, Thank you. Um, he did just learn, like, two days ago. So Yeah. I'd, I'd, uh, I thought that Jacks were worth zero. They were worth 10, and I got, like, 54. But yeah. you got 61 today. I got 61, so but I, that was me. in a round where we were, I was just playing with uh, just my sister, and it's it's a different game when you're playing with two people. We've played with two or three or four or five, even played around with six people, which we decided six people is when you need to add a third deck of cards instead of just two. So that makes it a little tricky. It does, sometimes. What are your thoughts on mosquitoes? That's been a big point of emphasis I this week for us. I hate mosquitoes with a passion, and Samuel knows this. I, we have, like, a spray that we go around and spray bedrooms a little bit before you go to bed to try to, like, clear out the mosquitoes. Um... And I obsessively do that and obsessively make him shut the doors to all the bedrooms. <laughs> and I, one little mosquito buzzing in your ear at night, if you've ever experienced that, you know it will drive you crazy and you will not sleep. So, that's why you crank up the noise. Yep. So, I spray the chemicals, I do all the things, I shut, <laughs> yell, shut the door 300 times a day. And if I get bitten by a mosquito, my leg, it's usually my legs or arms, I blow up like a balloon. So. Fun times. How do you usually like your steak cooked? I'm just coming up with trying to come up with questions that relate to our day. Right. We had steak like for we dinner. Had plenty of time. Samuel and I shared a steak actually. Yeah, which Because it would have been way too big for either one. Yeah, it was like a really big ribeye. Pretty and good. so yeah, pretty a little good. more fatty than I would have liked, but hey, that's all right. That a ribeye though, you you're gonna have some cat fat that you have to trim off though, but it makes for a really good marbled steak that you can mm -hmm. eat. So it, that's usually worth it. Um I, I always order my medium. I, but I generally prefer Extreme to eat medium. it and the medium to medium rare to even eat it medium well I'm fine with I want it to be pink like I want it to be pink and I can handle it if it's a little softer a little bloody mm -hmm. um, but I don't want it well done and I don't want it like all the way squishy yeah so there, there's a uh, there's a place that that my grandpa loves that we freak well not frequent but uh, that we that we go to you know a few times a year really nice steak place and uh, they have a, a little chart of like you know if you like your steak cooked you are at this level or you are at this level of sanity and I think if it, at the well done point it's just like you are clinically insane and I agree um, you know I don't use sauce for for steaks I just I think that's 
not how God intended it. Um, but I've heard people say that a well-done steak is like putting A1 sauce on a tractor tire. And uh, I don't like to eat tractor tires. I don't, do you like to eat tractor tires, Emily? Um, No. No, me neither. Um, I usually like mine medium rare, not like where it's still mooing, like my dad does. Um, he, he would just order the cow. Like, and I don't want the steak. Just lead the cow into the restaurant, please. I mean, it can, you know, he wants it eating his side salad, basically. Um, and I, I do not. I don't want it that bloody. But I do love a nice, good medium rare. Like, I, I love medium rare steak. Um, unless it's screwed up, which it hasn't been. Um, what is the best fried food? What, it, like, I mean, the, like, main entree course, like, Especially down here, chicken fried steak, fried chicken, fried catfish. Uh, what what do you think is the best one? Where? What like <laughs> where? What do you think is the oh, best like fried? Yeah, entree. I mean, I love fried catfish, but like fried oh, that's just hard. I like fried chicken. I like fried pork chops. I like all the things. Mm, I'm chops. not a big like chicken fried steak or chicken yeah. steak. Chicken fried chicken. <laughs> Sorry, got my chicken and steak words confused. Um, but I like a good steak finger. Mm, I, or, or I like hand breaded chicken strip. Ooh, you know who has really good chicken strips that shouldn't? Rallies and checkers. We had, we were we were looking for a Cracker Barrel a couple years ago on the road, and uh, we yeah. couldn't. It was just like a two hour wait, so we went over to a Rallies and Checkers just to you know eat some form of of uh, food, and uh, we all got the chicken tenders for whatever reason, and they were pretty boss. Um, yeah, uh, fried chicken is, is the goat to me. Always will be the goat. I mean, it's just, it's it's undisputable. If you disagree, you're wrong. What is the best frozen entree? Like corn dog, frozen pizza. Um, I'm trying to think what other frozen, you know, like a, like a full-out Salisbury steak TV dinner. What is the best, like, frozen entree? I'm trying to come up with the fun stuff. Yeah. I, I don't eat much frozen things, but, like, my go-to is usually, like, a taquito. Oh, Oh, you don't no, like that? To no. me, it's like pretty basic and pretty safe. Frozen Mexican food just makes me sad. The mini tacos are pretty good too. I'm not a frozen pizza person at all, but if really? I'm gonna eat one, the only one I found that I actually like is a um, DiGiorno stuffed crust pepperoni, mm. a little personal size. They are hard to find and they're expensive. They're like five dollars, five fifty per one. These have them at Walmart for like four fifty. Now they only have them at Target, and I'm like, if I'm gonna spend five fifty, I'm gonna go get. Like Chick Fil A, man, or yeah. like order a pizza. Order an actual pizza. Yeah. yeah. So, I uh, am not super impressed with many frozen foods. You will not find frozen foods in my fridge, like ready to go foods like that, or freezer. Um, except for some taquitos, generally, occasionally something else. Um, pretty rarely though. I do have like frozen vegetables and mm. you know like popsicles or ice cream and crap like. Can you finish the sentence? It's uh, not delivery. It's DiGiorno. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Of course, it's DiGiorno. I'm trying to come up with some fun things. I feel like we don't need a ton <laughs> of time usually on the podcast to recap the race. I do yeah. want to fill time and make this fun because I feel like our last few shows have been killer. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do some rapid fire now. Emily. Let's do I it. want your short, Let's like, five-second yes-no opinion. Or, so I'm just going to give you some verses here. Okay. I have no okay? idea what you're about to say. Coke versus Pepsi. Coke. Okay. Um... Uh, Chick Fil A or Canes? Why'd you do that to me? Chick Fil A. Ooh. Burger King or Mickey D's? Mickey D's. Okay. Okay. Cracker Barrel or Waffle House? Cracker Barrel. Ooh. Okay. That, that, was easy. that one's that. Yeah, you would think that, man. But you ever? I don't seen, think I've ever been to Waffle House. Have you ever eaten a no. hot Waffle House no. waffle while being entertained not only by the jukebox <laughs> but also by the employees? Nope. Going full WWE style behind the kitchen. Nope. It is There's the a best mosquito. thing. Ever. Did you kill it? No. Oh. Which means we're gonna have to spray again. Oh. Let okay. the record show that Emily is zero for one killing mosquitoes. Zero for one. Live on the air. Yes. Okay. Um, keep going. Okay. Well, do you do you have any for me? Or no? <laughs> I, um, I I sprung this on both of us. Gosh, it's like a this or that game. Um. Colton's or Texas Roadhouse? Oh man, you know I can't. I can't. I, know. I can't diss Colton's. Colton's all the way, man. Um. Walmart or Target? Oh, Target. 
Target? Sorry. Does Ooh. that claim me as... Is, it, is that a political stance you might these be days? A, Sorry. You might be a northerner, Emily. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I honestly just love me some Dollar Spot. Um, <laughs> family Dollar, everybody. <laughs> no, no. Dollar Spot at Target. Oh. You obviously don't oh, go there. Uh, dollar Tree or Family Dollar? Dollar Tree. Ooh. Dollar General or JCPenney? <laughs> Who even goes to JCPenney anymore? Yeah, I know. It's kind of dead. Um, Flip flops or tennis shoes? Oh, tennis like shoes Like sandals all the way. or tennis, tennis shoes, shoes all the way. Flip flops chafe the top of my feet Oof. and make them hurt. Huh. Um, sweet tea or Dr. Pepper? Oh, gosh. I can't do that. That's just unconscious. I know. Those are his faves. Um... I you know, think it, I know it depends on the situation. You know, I feel like if you're having like like fried chicken or something like that, you gotta go tea. But if it's like like a party I'm at or something, or if I'm out at a restaurant, I'm gonna order Dr. Pepper. I'm with you. Like when pizza. Present. Yeah, pizza. I'm gonna get Dr. Pepper. Usually burger. 100%. Like something like that. I'm gonna go serve for carbonation. Yeah. Um. Or like movies. Okay. Um. Mountains or beach. You know. Hmm. There's some part of me that would, there's like 1% of me that would love to like wake up on top of Mount Everest and look out over all that. The other 99% of me is you don't scared have to death live there. It could falling. just be vocation. So beach. Vacation. Beach. Yeah. I mean, I mean the, the, well, I'm not saying you literally have to be on a mountain, but like, you know, when you go on, go on vacation. vacation. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Well, here's the thing about the beach is like, like would you rather go for a hike or would you rather sit on the beach all day? Yeah. Here's the thing about the beach. I don't want to go to Hawaii. Yeah. Which sounds stupid, but Hawaii's beaches to me just have like a lonely feeling to them, you know. It mm-hmm. just doesn't, and maybe that's because I've literally only been to like Destin, and the yeah. Outer Banks, but the Outer and Banks Dolphin is Island. pretty sweet. And Dolphin Island, yeah, Dolphin Island, in Alabama, hidden little gem there, hidden the bottom gem. of the Gulf Coast. Go don't there. don't tell about our secrets. No, yeah, we should um, go to Pirates though. Yeah, go to Pirates. Go to Pirates. Delicious. Free ad Hey, you want to sponsor us, Pirates? Go Redhead. Blow the Line Podcast Gmail dot com. Oh my gosh, <laughs> um, city or country? Country, country all the I way. Knew you. Oh, well, I knew th- you there is go. one exception I would make one city I'm I'm partial to, but that's DC? literally it. Yeah, Washington D.C. Um, and then last one I've got for you, book or movie. Again, it just kind of depends on the situation. Like if it's a if it's the weekend or something, I'm I'm probably gonna choose movie. But if it's if it's like a beautiful day outside or like an early morning, something like that, I'm gonna go out there with a nice book and read away and. So what if it's the lost. same thing? Like, have you know, movies or books that they turn into movies? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, think of so, one. So, okay. Well, okay. I'll I'll just go Harry Potter because I feel okay, like that's yeah, well yeah, known. that's that, a good that's classic. A series that I really like. Um, again, it's just a different feel. It's just a it's a different <laughs> feel, and I'm it's, it's a cop out, but it is a different it's feel. This or that. It's this or that. And it's the answer. I'm probably gonna go book because I feel. I mean, a book is just something I you can enjoy. Feel the same way. A book is something you can enjoy in so many more places. That's mainly due to like the the literal like physical technical difficulties. You can't just watch a movie right. anywhere. You can take a book anywhere. Yeah. Uh, but a book is also something that is more universal than a movie. Um, you know, more people I I think are probably able to read than have the ability to watch a film. So, well, maybe not. I might be wrong on that. But <laughs> okay. you know, um, I probably am. But. It's just re- reading has a more personal feel to it. You know, yeah. reading is something that it's just it, it's better. And I know a lot of people, especially in my modern day generation, disagree. But I am an advocate for books and reading. Mm. So that's more than half our show. Anyway, we should probably talk some NASCAR. I, I apologize, to anybody. I'm. It's fun. You know, it's fun. I feel like the last it few shows fun. have been really good. And Mama, I know you're listening to this probably. So uh, I know she enjoyed that. She's probably yeah, gonna turn it off now. Yeah, she loves that part. But. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, okay, it's time to talk about NASCAR. I yeah. will be done. Flip over to the Dave Ramsey show, Mama. <laughs> We're gonna talk NASCAR, Emily. If you want to go ahead and read first through eighth, there, I might actually let you go ahead and yeah. read all the results tonight. Go sure. ahead, or read down the results list. So these are the results for the race in Atlanta on Oats Sunday. The Quaker Oats Fourth. Oats thousand at walmart Walmart. um first place william byron followed by daniel suarez aj allmendinger michael mcdowell kyle bush brad keselowski jj yaley and justin haley came in at eighth place and then how do you feel about kyle bush's seven race top 10 streak we're not talking about that (laughs) um ryan blaney ricky stenhouse jr eric jones austin Cindric, chase elliott my man denny in 14th chris busher in 15th and todd gilliland in 16th then we have Joey Logano. Logano. Yeah, we not so much in the first place like mine. Eric Almarola. <laughs> um, 
Ty Dillon, BJ McLeod, Austin Dillon, Chase Briscoe, Christopher Bell, Ryan Priest, Bubba Wallace in 25th, and Alex Bowman. Sorry, Samuel. Big your guys my guys again. Are Two weeks in a, a row, A little man. far back. Then we have bit. Tyler Reddick, Harrison Burton, Martin Trix, Jr., Kevin Harvick, Corey LaJoy, Cole Custer, Noah Gregson, Ty Gibbs, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, and in the very last spot, Austin Hill. Yeah, I feel like, uh, speaking of Custer, I, he was up in the top 10 late, not sure what happened to him. We forgot to talk about him on the show this uh-huh. week and what I meant to. I feel like nobody talked about that, though. Cole Custer, coming back uh, coming back to the Cup Series. He's going to be uh, at New Hampshire and then the next race, which is Pocono. So running oh. two more races this year for uh, for Aguero. My whole leg is falling asleep. I'm an extreme... Well, I'm just over here with my head to the side looking for the mosquito. I am in extreme pain right now, actually, because my leg falls asleep. So that's fun. Ow, ow, ow. Good gravy. That actually hurts. Uh, kill the mosquito, Emily. Um, I would like to. What were, your, what were your overall opinions on this race? Did you think it was a good race? Yeah. That's my overall opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, solid. Um, yeah, I think the racing to the rain, or racing to the rain, rather, uh, was a good That's part. interesting, and it kind of does create a bit of a, um, a different ending when you're when you're ending a race on pit road. It's just kind of, woo, I won. I was watching William Byron. It's just so, it's just so interesting um, at that point. But I do think that these guys kind of pushed it to the limit there at the end, trying to hold out, trying to hold out from taking a pit stop to get gas or to get some new tires or anything. Definitely some good strategy. So um, that's just a little something different there. Yeah, I thought this was the best super speeder race of the year just because that threat of rain made these guys go like absolutely uh, all out. Like from from the word go. I mean, probably from like, like, like lap 30 after Harrison Burton's spin and everything, Mm -hmm. these guys were... They were zooming, you know? Zooming. They were zoom zooming. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at these standings here now. Let's see here. William, wait, okay. Oh, William Byron. Standings. William Byron is the regular season points leader by 21 over Martin Truex Jr. And then you have, who else? Uh, Bush and Chastain. NASCAR.com uh, has now made the playoff standings, how these guys show up, and that's confusing for the regular season. Um, but Byron Bush, Truex Chastain, Lau, uh, gosh, my back is terrible. Uh, Larson, Hamlin, Bell, Blaney, Logano, Reddick, Stenhouse are your 11 winners through 19 races. Four guys won the races. Byron Bush, Truex, uh, Larson, Larson and Truex each with two, Bush with three. William Byron, four victories. First man in on points is Kevin Harvick plus 126, Busher plus 102, Brad plus 100. Daniel Suarez, Michael McDowell, they were both out coming into the weekend. They are now both in by three points. First man out is Bubba, minus three. Then you have Almendinger, only minus 13. Ty Gibbs, minus 26. Cindric, minus uh, 38. Haley, minus 41. Bowman, minus 44. Elliott, minus 60. Uh, LaJoy, minus 70. Priest, minus 81. Gillen, Todd, what's his face? Todd Todd, Gillen, Gillen, have you created that Twitter fan page yet? We really need to get on that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Eric Camarola, minus 140. Uh, or no, I'm sorry. Eric Camarola, minus 90, rather. Uh, Jones, minus 140. Dylan, minus 143. Harrison Burton, minus 156. Briscoe, minus 185. Ty Dillon, minus 236. Noah Gregson, minus 237. Rookie year. Mm-hmm. I get it's your rookie year, but your last in points. That's got to be demoralizing. Yeah. What do you sure. think of the standings, Emily? Six, or, uh, 60 points separate nine drivers that is from suarez all the way down to chase elliott um or i'm sorry 63 points rather separate one two three four five six seven eight yeah nine drivers 63 points seven points on average between these guys uh the playoff picture right now is tight and literally one move can decide whether you're in or out right now seven races to go what do you think of this playoff picture right now I think it's really interesting um, that there's these guys that are, you know, seem to have been kind of hanging in the leeway right there, really, really close to the cut line for most of the season, and it just doesn't seem to be changing. So I just don't expect it to. (laughs) I know. I have no hope this season. Every time we discuss standings, (laughs) I'm like, Nothing's changed. I don't Maybe know it's about just that. me. <laughs> I, I mean, Suarez and McDowell are out before the weekend. This is where I'm going to get all the people in the comments going, I don't know about this girl. Yeah, just like the guy a couple weeks ago. That was so funny. It seriously oh, made goodness. my life. So it, you're out there, dude. 
Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. That was that we needed some humor. Yes, we did. Oh goodness gracious. Um, what do you think about Atlanta Super Speedway? You know, it's been a thing now for two years. We've run four cup races, uh, four Xfinity races, two truck races. Uh, I think the track we're in out is is having a big play. I mean, these guys are actually having to worry about handling. I think it's at least for this year is it was the best super speedway race. What do you think about it? What do you think about its future as a super speedway? I mean, you as a fan really only got to see it for a couple of years in its yeah. normal. I mean, it was basically like Las Vegas, Charlotte, yeah. any other mile and a half. Now it's a super speedway. Do you like the change? And do you think it should uh, stay this way? I mean, I think it is likely going to stay this way for a few years. But what do you think about Atlanta Super Speedway? I mean. I love a good super speedway. You know, I don't like road courses. I don't like short tracks. They're just all not my favorite. And so a super speedway is kind of my jam. So I like it. Do you think it should stay a super speedway? Would you like to see it maybe revert back to its old form Absolutely at any point? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I figured <laughs> Absolutely that'd be your answer. Not. Final little thing here. Um, and I know you probably don't have the attachment to the car or the moment as much as I mm -hmm. do. But no, that's okay. You came in late. You're still a baby NASCAR fan. Uh -huh. I am. Um, but last night, and gosh darn, I'm going to get emotional now at midnight on a Monday. Um, but last night, Kevin Harvick uh, drove beside Richard Childress, and Richard Childress was driving the car that Harvick drove to his first career win. Now, Harvick retiring at the end of the year. He got his first win at Atlanta, but if that wasn't special enough, uh, he was in a car, in, in a chassis, in a, in a car body that won. Uh, with Dale Earnhardt in the fall of 2000. Now, Dale passed away a couple of weeks uh, before that win at Atlanta for Kevin Harvick in the 2001 Daytona 500. We all know that story. Um, and Kevin Harvick beat Jeff Gordon coming off turn four to win that race and heal a lot of people, or at least help the healing process for a lot of people. Um, to see that car back out on that track again was incredible, and I don't know how many people it took to say that i mean that's a car that still ran like i think they said three or four more times on the broadcast that still ran three or four more times in 2001 yeah. um you know to see that car out there to see that moment so special um see richard childress out there at you know what 77 years old looking like he did in his driving days you know looking so like looking like he was having so much fun behind the wheel um was really cool and uh, I know it was neat for Harvick. Now, obviously, his night didn't end uh, the way he wanted it to. You no. know, he spun out, had a flat tire, and, and just had a multitude of issues. But uh, William Pyron last night proved you can have a multitude of issues and still win. Um, True. Yeah, that's the last little thing. But congrats, William Byron, win number four. Yeah. You got another pick, right? We should, next him. year, I'll remember to do pick points for us. Yes. I'll yes. remember to We do need that. to do that. Yeah. So... I think that's all we have. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share. If you're on the Spider Shane YouTube page, uh, page, if you're listening on uh, just on any podcast platform, um, head on over to the Spider Shane YouTube page. Plenty of content there. That's the Spider Apostrophe S stand. I know it's two episodes, uh, really, uh, basically like right back to back, but you can go listen to Betsy and Cameron talk about Chicago. Um, yeah. Last in-person show for, for probably a good while. I'm not sure when we'll be in person again, Emily, but so obviously next podcast will be Wednesday. Plenty of stuff uh, on the cup side. So she'll be joining us you know, virtually, but still she'll still be here uh, each and every – well, not each and every day, but a lot each week. As uh, much we'll as still I have can. Plenty, we'll still have plenty of content. Uh, might be Labor Day, actually. Maybe like – well, no. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know when we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, we will see you guys later next podcast Wednesday. Stat tracking tomorrow on Spotter Stand at YouTube channel, or today actually on Tuesday. And that's, I believe, all we have. Heading to New Hampshire le or next, the Grant State, where they get a lobster. Heading to the Magic Mile. Yeah. Would, it, would you want to hold that lobster in Victory Lane? No. No? No. I would. You would? It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. You go for it, dude. I think its name is literally the lobster, which is kind of weird when they have a new one each year, unless they just reuse the same lobster, but no, I don't no, think no, they no, do. just any lobster they've got. That's Larry. That's Larry. Sure. We will see you guys later, everybody. It's a really weird note to end on. That's Larry. We will see you guys Larry. later. Goodbye.